hello and welcome to the course of computer network part 2 and today we are going to discuss how mac address is used to take a particular packet from its source to its destination so and we will understand the difference between a ip address and a mac address that is very important to understand from the examination point of view so uh, let's let's understand this this diagram first this is a lan which is connected with the other lan through this router which has got two serial ports first one and second one and this lan has got a computer with the ip address this and mac address this which name is a and the other computer residing in the uh, other lan with the name B which has got IP address uh, which is written uh, here 222.222.222.222 and the MAC address in a uh, hexadecimal format. So A wants to send a packet to B. How it's going to reach to B? So let's, let's see that first of all A generates a packet and convert that packet into a frame because at, at packet level you can see over here that at IP level this, this packet is generated and uh, uh, as you all know that IP works for network layer and network layer is responsible for delivering delivering a particular packet from source to destination it is responsible for end-to-end -end, uh, communication or end-to-end -end transfer so uh, network layer creates a packet and uh, it puts source and destination IP address in its header. So you can see source address, source IP address is triple one and destination IP address is triple two. So at network layer, we have a packet which has got source and destination IP addresses. Once this particular packet uh, comes down to the uh, data link layer or Ethernet. You can you can say the protocol which is working at data link layer is Ethernet for wired lens. That is why Ethernet is written over here. So at data link layer, the data link layer uh, needs to add a header as well as trailer. Uh, it will encapsulate a header as well as trailer with the packet and this packet. Uh, uh, will be converted into a frame and uh, in the header part at the data link layer uh, this particular data link layer will put its network interface cards uh, MAC address so you can see source MAC address is uh, FF55 so you can see the source MAC address at, uh, at um, data link layer and in its frame you can see FF55 and the destination MAC address is not this MAC address because uh, this particular node uh, node will never get to know about that will never got get to know about this particular system's MAC address directly. This particular node at data link le uh, level knows only about the uh, MAC address of its directly connected next node so the next node is this because this this particular node has to send data from system a to b so uh, this particular node knows how to reach how to send that particular data to b so this particular node knows we have to send this particular data at the gateway and this is the gateway and this gateway has got an ip address and a mac address so at packet level these two things source address and destination address will remain intact they will remain same throughout the journey of a packet you will see but at data link layer when it becomes a frame so you will see that this particular uh, source these uh, addresses will keep on changing after crossing each and every nodes so at data link layer we are uh, we are having a frame which has got source and destination MAC addresses source MAC, MAC address is 
this machine's MAC address and destination MAC address is the next hope because data link layer is responsible for transferring your frame from current node to the next node as we have already discussed this thing many many times and MAC address is responsible for that so it data link layer data link layers MAC address is responsible for delivering a frame from current node to the next node so next node for this particular node is this gateway so first of all it will transfer that particular frame from this node to this node and for transferring that node from this node to this node or uh, this particular node wants uh, R to absorb this particular frame this particular node has to provide this particular network interface cards MAC address in its destination MAC address because this is going to check over here so let's let's send this particular uh, uh, frame to this particular gateway so you can see this comes to the network interface card of this particular router or you can say at the data link layer of this particular uh, router so once it is here then this part this this responsibility of data link layer is done because uh, responsibility of data link layer is uh, to transfer this particular frame from current node to the next node and it is here now then this particular data link layer will remove its header and trailer as you can see it is removed and once you remove header and trailer from a frame it becomes packet and you can see this is the same packet which you saw at this particular system and their IP addresses are remain same so packet remain same throughout its journey with, with their uh, source and destination IP addresses so once we are here then let's see what happens it, it remains same so uh, this particular router did some uh, routing and forwarding task with the help of uh, routing table and decides that this particular uh, packet has to uh, go through this particular serial port to reach its destination in a shortest way so this particular router forwards this particular packet from this node to this serial node of, uh, of this particular router so this particular packet is at this particular network interface card now so now this particular network interface card has to create a frame because uh, it has to uh, send this particular frame to its destination so now it will uh, create a frame and for creating frame this particular network interface card has to provide source and destination MAC addresses uh, in its header so now you can see source and destination IP addresses are same but once you have crossed this first uh, node and you are at the next level uh, now again your source and destination MAC addresses are changed so this time your source MAC address would be the MAC address of this particular network interface card this is 069B you can see MAC source 069B the source MAC address of this interface card and destination MAC address of this particular uh, node which is the actual destination because this particular node knows about the MAC interface card of its next node so the next nodes or destinations met, met, uh, net, uh, MAC address is 56 uh, 2A you can see 56 2A is here so uh, again it uh, becomes a frame and it is uh, ready to uh, transmit uh, this particular node is ready to transmit this particular frame uh, to this particular link as you can see uh, so at the network interface card of this particular node or at the destination uh, this MAC address 
this destination MAC address first of all will be checked with the MAC address of this particular system. If this particular system or system B finds the destination uh, MAC address is same uh, like both the MAC addresses are same it's, it, it will try to match its own MAC address with the destination MAC address if both are same then only this particular uh, system will accept this particular uh, frame so uh, it is matched 562a 562a both the MAC addresses are matched, matched. so this particular node uh, accepts this particular frame and after accepting this particular frame it removes its header because responsibility of data link layer is done it is transferred from this node to this node it's it's done it is accepted by this particular node it will remove its header part and trailer part once it is done with that thing it will become a packet and you can see it, it becomes a packet and it is at its destination now network interface card will check its destination MAC address with its own uh, sorry network interface uh, sorry network layer will check its destination IP address with its own IP address and if it finds a match then this particular uh, uh, packet is considered at its destination so uh, that is how it, it goes and you can see uh, that how MAC address is used to take a particular packet from source to its destination where you have seen that uh, in a packet uh, IP addresses are uh, remain same throughout its journey packet remains same throughout the, throughout the journey of a particular packet but MAC addresses are keep on changing after crossing each and every node so that is how it, it works and MAC address helps packet to reach from source to destination and uh, that's it I hope um, uh, you are uh, clear with the concept of IP address and MAC address and how they help each other to uh, take data from source to the destination. Thank you for the video.